Hello? So, um, yes, yeah, thank you all, and then thank the Black and his team for giving me uh, this uh, wonderful opportunity to speak in front of awesome people. Um, I'm Masao Ikeda. I came over from Tokyo, Japan, uh, which is, um, yeah, you know, that Istanbul is uh, located in the very western end of the Asian continent, but our country is um, the other side of the continent, actually. Um, it's actually just off the China. Uh, it's an island country. So uh, this is one of the typical scene in Japan, uh, which is located in uh, uh, Tokyo. Uh, people say that, that this is the world's busiest pedestrian crossing. So many people are crossing all, all the way and then uh, commu for commuting or kind of for shopping or something like that. So um, before going to the, my presentation, uh, let me introduce myself. How can I handle this? Yeah, here we go. Yes, this is what we are doing. Um, so what we're doing is the called Bleach, which is a news media site. News media site focused on startup scene in Japan and the uh, rest uh, of the world. So uh, you know that the Japan is a, uh, the, the, uh, which is probably the one of the biggest technology company, uh, country actually. But, um, and, uh, and we also have, there are many uh, websites um, the rep reporting the uh, technological news or something like that in Japan. But, uh, you know, the, the many people's, many websites are doing only about the, the covering what's going on in the Japanese startups in only Japanese. So what we're trying to do is um, the, uh, letting the people, I mean, the, letting the entrepreneurs or start, uh, people in the startup scene uh, to push out their information to the world. So uh, we are bringing news updates in English and Japanese about uh, what's, going, what's going on in the startup scene in Tokyo or in the rest of the Asian countries. And uh, the second thing is, oh no, no, the third one, actually. So we also have a partnership with the news media companies in Asia, including Taiwan, China, Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, all those countries. So um, we are picking up interesting story from them and then translate their news stories into Japanese. Because you know, the many Japanese people uh, are not interested in reading uh, what's going on as a country in English. So that's why we're translating their story into Japanese. On the other side, we also push out the uh, uh, Japanese news in English as well. So you can uh, learn what's, in go what's going on in the J uh, English languages as well. And lastly, um, we also have a database of startups. So if you want to learn about the uh, what startups fundraise, the how much money from which uh, investors, the kind of things. You can learn about that kind of things through that database. It's something like the uh, uh, Crunchbase or AngelList or something like that. It's Japanese edition of that. So you can, uh, it also has an English and then Japanese interfaces as well. So um, you can learn about that in English and Japanese as well. So, and then the, this one is also a part of uh, one of my projects, which is um, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm a curator of the Startup Digest Tokyo edition. Uh, I think that probably some of you know that uh, what it is. This is the uh, uh, very useful uh, tool to know about what kind of event will be happening in every week. So uh, let me share the, the latest figures about the Japanese market right now. So um, this is the uh, latest statistics, latest and the estimated numbers actually. So you know the now we are in the uh, year of 2014. So um, this, the penetration rate of the smartphone users uh, is not it's a population maybe 76.5 uh, million users we have. Uh, they are smartphone users actually. So um, the penetration rate of smartphone users in Japan is very very high. Um, because uh, people want to use that uh, while they commute or because you know the, the, the Japanese people are living in a very central area like Tokyo or Osaka, these metropolitan cities. So they usually don't, do not use the uh, car or something like that. Uh, they usually use the uh, train or those kind of public transportation to commute to their uh, offices or schools or kind of thing. So that's why uh, the penetration of smartphone users are very, very high, rather than the other countries. 
So um, that's also uh, the uh, given impact on the, uh, how they say, the, uh, the user behaviors uh, of the uh, web services or something like that. Uh, this is also an interesting, uh, interesting figures. Uh, this is um, the smartphone ownership, uh, ownership among internet users in Japan. Uh, it's uh, from 2011 to 2013. So um, basically, this is actually a number from the last year, but almost like the, uh, a half of our population has the smartphone. So you know that penetration is very, very high. So, so uh, when we look at the, uh, the trends about the Japanese startups or Japanese uh, internet services, most of them are optimized for smartphone users rather than uh, desktop users or something like that. And the last one is, this is about the market size. So uh, you know the, the, the e-commerce is uh, uh, the big, very big part of the uh, internet services right now. So, um, so the, one of the biggest one is, the one, one of the biggest companies in Japan is uh, Rakuten, which is a very popular uh, Japanese e-commerce company. They are leading the, uh, this market actually, and then e-commerce industry is also getting very um, large right now. So let me show you some example about what is very hot in the Japanese startup scene. So this is probably very different from the other countries maybe because of the uh, different user behaviors. So let me sh uh, start with uh, the first one is, this is the, uh, the one of the very hottest one, which is a news curation app. So, um, so um, uh, we introduced two apps right uh, on this page actually. One is Smart News on the left side, and the other, other right one is, which is called Gnosi. And Smart News Gnosi, these are two uh, biggest, uh, uh, two most popular uh, news creation apps. So, um, you know, the, the people usually read the newspapers or news sites using the desktop, peop, uh, desktop machine or laptop PC or something like that. But Japanese people are very busy. So they really want to read only article they can be interested in. So that's why uh, this article, uh, sorry, these apps will select the uh, news article you will be interested in according to your, pr your preference. So, um, so these apps have a kind of machine learning, a machine learning, sorry, machine learning technology. So um, um, they can run the, uh, what kind of news article you will be interested in. So it's really uh, interesting technology actually. The next one is also, this is also the biggest uh, uh, space, which is, uh, which is called Reti. Uh, which is the most popular one among the, uh, how they say, it's a food app, so food photo apps. So this is probably typically um, happening to Asian markets maybe, but when you go to uh, Asian country like uh, Japan or Taiwan or China or Malaysia, Singapore, this country, people want to take a picture of food before they start eating something. Uh, and then they usually publish those photos on their Facebook uh, walls or blogs or something like that. Uh, this is something like the, uh, how do I say, the, uh, the record of their, uh, record of what they do every day, that, that, that kind of thing. So uh, this is the, uh, uh, the, 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 the mobile app for doing that. And then interesting thing is um, you can connect with other friends uh, based on the Facebook um, friends or something like the social connection and kind of things. So um, you can easily uh, find a restaurant you can like. Uh, you probably like, probably. So, um, so, so b based on the accumulation of those kind of things, I mean, Letty can tell you that what restaurant is, um, uh, how do I say, suits you all kinds of things. So suitable for you, sorry about that. So suitable for you kind of thing. So this is a very interesting one as well. The, the next one is, this is also a typical Japanese one. Um, this is, uh, we usually call the uh, flea market app or C2C, which is consumer to consumer 
app. So if you have um, um, the closing or kind of uh, uh, the kind of how they say shoes or caps or those kind of things like uh, something you will be wearing, but you don't uh, need it. Maybe you can sell that those items, question items, kind of thing to someone. So these apps are kind of allows you to connect with some people who may be interested in selling your items. So uh, we usually call that uh, flu or that the 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 one is flu, which is um, the one of the uh, the popular, most popular one. The light side one is uh, which is called the uh, melancholy, and they these two are very big one in Japan also, and they started uh, business expansion in the in the U.S. market as well. And the rest, the next one is uh, so this one is minute. One, one minute. minute. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, go, go go to the last slide. Okay. I need to, uh, yeah, yeah. This is about, this is about uh, uh, the, 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 how they say, this is a, uh, also a web app for uh, helping you to choose the uh, ex excursion place or travel destination kind of things. Uh, two uh, apps actually, as view and three piece. And the next one is, uh, this is pretty difficult to explain <laughs> in very short time, but actually uh, we call the crowd source platform. So crowd source platform is like the, uh, if you, when you want, uh, when you need um, someone's help to finish the 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 work kind of thing, you can ask someone uh, through this pro this platform actually. So um, so we have a bunch of the cross source platform as well. So um, this is um, also some of the interesting uh, websites as well. Um, the uh, e-commerce sites selling the very Japanese geek items or something like that. So um, Master, we need to wrap up. <laughs> Go to the last slide, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also so. Um, in Japan right now, um, the IoT, which is called uh, Internet of Things, so so building uh, hardware products and kind of things are getting very trend trending. So um, um, this platform, like Linkaku or those guys, are helping the people to uh, build up the hardware products in very easy way. So yes. And also, we ho also have a bunch of the uh, startups in Asia as well. But actually, we have no time to yeah, introduce one by one. So, Thanks so much. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry about that. So before that, so if you have a chance to, um, yeah, if you want to learn about what's going on in Japan or um, the Asian country, especially in the startup scene, uh, you can check out the our website, which is the bridge. Uh, at the bridge.jp, so it's available in English and Japanese. So you, uh, so yeah, you can check out. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Shikuris, honestly.